when we're being held down, pinned by the chest, when we're being choked, when the forearm's in the neck, and we've managed to roll the person over to their back, right? So if you could take that position, please, as if we just finished escaping the mouth. I'm going to ask you to put your head this way, please. Better move further. All right, so the knees are up, right? And I'm sort of like this, stuck on the ground after I've just rolled him over. I've just escaped from the mount. I've just finished this punch pot defense or the standard variation defense, and I've escaped from this mounted position. And I'm going to lock him down. Remember we said here, one, two. From here, if he tries to punch, I can easily stop him by just trapping the bicep. Right, this hand on the back of the head is not going to do much damage. What I need to do, because I've escaped, I've escaped, that's phase one, escape. Phase two is achieve the dominant position. Two ways, maintain the dominant position. We'll get there next. Just as a, a note also, time is short. We only have till 12 after 6. We have a lot to do. So I'm going to go fast, but my wife's over here filming all this with a high-def camera. Before you guys leave, I'm going to give you all a business card. You send me an email, and I will give you all individualized links to each lesson that we've done here, so you have them as a permanent resource. Before you leave today, I have a stack of syllabus, syllabi over there that have all these moves broken, broken down in outline form. Make sure you get one. You're going to leave with those resources, so you have them. You can always come back from the material you got here today. All right? So from this position, we're locked down. I need to climb to the mount, the position I just escaped from. Look what I do. That's it. Very simple process. I'm just climbing over each leg. The way I do it's a little special. Not because I'm doing it, because this is what Elio did. I want to isolate one side first, the same way I did when I escaped the mount. Once I feel that I'm not in imminent danger of being punched anymore, the guy's getting a little tired, I've been able to control him and maintain where I'm at, I'm going to take my free hand, whichever side I'm looking, and I'm going to push the leg down. As soon as the leg is down, I want to slide my shin over his thigh while keeping this downward pressure. See, I want to pin him, and I'm going to leave my foot in. I'm going to leave my foot in. When my knee touches the ground, now it's time to hold the head. I don't want to get my head stuck between my own arms, so I just move to the other side. And then this hand goes out by the base. This way, if he tries to roll me this way, at this point, she won't because I have this strong base. Stiff arm on the ground. Once I'm safe here, the other hand comes free, and I push the leg down, and I crawl over. As soon as I feel both hooks in, they both go out. The hands are on the ground, wide and low for base. Chest to chest, straight on him. Not too far this way, not too far this way, straight. Okay? He's going to do it to me. He's escaped the mouth. He locks me down with the elbows. And whatever way he's looking, he pushes that leg down. Now he drags the thigh over and leaves the hook in. Now he wraps the head. The head goes to the other side. This arm out wide for base, so I can't roll him here. Once he confirms that he's solid, he pushes the other leg down, climbs over, both hands low and wide for base, on the ground. Great. All right, give it a try, guys. We'll come around and help you. Let's go. Sir. Sure. 